2021 Super Aeronautique GS22 sitting in an onyx black hull bottom master's blue metal flake mystic white rear stripe and upper deck and interior deck stripe with a mystic white tower really cool boat um, super sleek and sharp looking on the water metal flake looks amazing in the sun uh, it's sitting on a tandem axle boatmate trailer has the bow ladder spare tire in blacked out wheels also has that nice <clears throat> excuse me elite shield coating on there keeps a little bit more scratch resistant for rock chips and things like that um we also have done 30 percent window tint nautique bimini's up top there in the tower get a pair of the jl 880mx tower speakers and the standard board racks on this but really sleek boat um it is equipped with a transom uh, platform ladder, Nautique surf system, surf pipe exhaust is down there. NCRS, all the goodies. I've uh, also done gray, titanium gray C deck on this. GS22 is a really really solid performer for really whatever you want to do um it's kind of a jack of all trades type boat carries a lot of the same hull characteristics as the g series so it still retains that nice soft ride um surfs incredibly well it's awesome wakeboard boat um but there are some lifting characteristics to it at speed that come into play that help it um uh, to ski really well for you know a 4700 pound v drive wake boat but definitely a uh, solid option all around if you if you like to kind of do it all uh, let's hop inside check out the interior on this gs22 transom is going to have the rear seats here on both sides a couple cup holders a nice step in from the platform up into the walkthrough on the back of the boat. Um, before I hop inside, this has the haze gray interior. We've also done black seat boxing with it. Masters blue accent and piping with white texture vinyl. So get a nice look up and close we do have the blue stitching on here as well and then the texture vinyl is what we call soft max and has that nice kind of pebbled texture to it pretty subtle but kind of adds a little bit of depth to the material all throughout the boat um white interior deck uh, and then the of course gray sea deck all throughout our sun pad has these awesome step pads sea deck all the way around so you can always walk out of the boat and not be stepping on your vinyl um, flipping open our back storage area this boat is equipped with pro ballast so we have an additional 350 pounds of ballast on either side of the engine in addition to the uh, uh, 2250 pounds you get stock so right around 3,000 pounds of ballast in this thing. It is also set up with the um, PCM ZR4. So it's a 400 horsepower, closed cooled motor. Runs super smooth. This motor's been around a long time and uh, does a really good job on the GS22. It's the standard motor on the majority of our boats in, in the Nautique line. Uh, nice thing about these um, Pro ballast bags when they fill they aren't eating up all of your storage space back here so you can see we have like a life jacket um, brick back here also I've got the platform cover uh, but that can fill up and down um, and that that pack of life jackets can hang out in there you don't have to remove it so there's still storage on top of that bag this is equipped with the ski pylon pops up out of the walkthrough Stows away when you're done. Stepping into the interior, 
You also have the removable seat with the step underneath. Flipping up our starboard side. Trash can and a nice drop-in cooler, insulated cooler. Matching sea deck and Chromax to go with the rest of the boat. It's also a lean back over on this side that slides in. Um, looking down the sides here, obviously we have the cup holder lighting on. You can change the colors on those, whatever you want. Got them blue to match. Uh, before we go through the rest, quick look at the tower. Um, a few years back, we added a little bit of height to this tower. I think it got five or six inches taller. So there's really good head clearance um, when you're walking around on the interior of this boat. But we've got the rotating board racks, the 8-8 uh, eight eight tower speakers up top here. Let's have the um, down-facing lighting in them too, and then the covers. Factory bimini. That thing opens up and has storage on the roof for more boards. Moving over to the port side, this does have the integrated battery charger, so you can run an extension cord and just plug this thing right in. And communicating storage into the back here as well. Dual batteries sit underneath this cushion here. I already have it flipped up, but you can see the port side lean back. If you want to fold that flat into a bench, you just twist the latch and it locks into place like that. But a nice footwell, flip that back up for whoever's sitting in the love seat. And then if we flip open the love seat, check out the storage in here. 10 inch subwoofer, all your amps, fire extinguisher mounted up in there. Uh, got our owner's manual, but back here is a great spot to stow the uh, slide in air dam for the walkthrough to the bow. So we've got that option on here. Speaking of climate features, this does have heated love seat, heated driver's seat, two outlet heater down at the driver's feet. Those things can pop out. Um, take them across to whoever's sitting in the boat. And then you have the defroster up top on the dash. In the glove box, here's your toggle switch for the heated love seat. Chargers also have your jail head unit, although the entire stereo can be powered through the uh, Panoray screen. And then you have phone storage right here. You can see through the, the lid what's going on inside. Driver's seat is adjustable. Again, heated. Slide swivels and has the bolster that flips up. We option on the uh, tandem spoke steering wheel. So this has got the leather wrap and the stitching that looks awesome and then the um, little extra flash going on with the uh, spokes on it. Left side has kind of a storage cubby with some charging ports. Also have the phone holder slash drain plug holder. Uh, the link panorama screen over on the right sits super, super low. It does great visibility out through the bow of the GS22. This boat drives super flat through the water, so you always have great visibility. Um, as you can see, I'm controlling the screen now with the rotary dial on the side. And it's also touch screen, but you pretty much run all the functions of the boat through the screen. Super easy to use, stereo, you can pair your GoPro up, um, fill and drain ballast, run all your lighting and climate features. Also has lake maps on here, which is not going to work in our metal building. And lastly, um, rider presets, which are super handy to get the boat set up nice and quick to go out and do whatever, whatever you want to do behind it. Um, some cool updates for 2021 is they've changed the way you adjust the surf and wakeboard wake. Instead of adjusting both NSS and your NCRS plate at the same time, they kind of combined it into one setting and kind of giving you either a uh, steep or tall setting and a bunch of variations in between. So that's your screen. Big mirror my option on here. I think I mentioned it, but we did we do tint the windows on these. Looks awesome on this boat. Um, 
and up in the bow kind of a flatter front um, on the bow here on the GS so pretty solid amount of seating going on got a couple speakers up here because we do have that upgraded stereo package with the sub and then cup holders grab handles storage kind of wraps around underneath everything is lined in sea deck and as you can see under there we've got a bunch of boat fenders because this does have the fender pro option on it so that's the clips that you leave the boat fenders tied to makes them nice and easy to use one of our favorite options that you can get on these new nautiques and it's pretty much it on this gs it's really well equipped sharp boat classic colors if you have any questions please give us a call or come check us out in three boat works at 317-845-9253 thanks for watching